Okay, to control the Impure Home app on your phone, you're going to need to install the Impure Home app on your Vera. So to do that, you're going to go to the Apps page or tab, then you're going to click on Install Apps. From here, you'll search for Impure Home. Then click Show. Then you click Install. Okay, so after it's downloaded and installed, it's always good to just do a quick reload on your Vera. Now that my Vera is reloaded, it's asking me to set up the IP address for the Imperial Home device. So this is where you'd want to set up a static IP address on your phone or DHCP reservation in your router. I much prefer DHCP reservation because I can manage all my IP addresses in one place. So when you have an IP address, you could enter it in here. And remember, you have to enable the API HTTP server in the Imperial Home general settings on the app. So once you've got the IP address for your phone, you can go into your settings by clicking on the wrench and then clicking on the advanced tab and then entering in your IP address for your phone here. Okay, so I've entered my IP address, then I'll click Save, and then Continue. So once Vera is reloaded, you can go in and test. So just click on the wrench, then you can go to Page. So if you wanted to go to a um, different dashboard page, and obviously you could automate all this. Uh, I'm using Plague to do it. Uh, but you could just use a scene as well. Uh, so this is what I would use to go to a different page that would show my camera feed when there's motion detected. Uh, and you can also use it to say some text if you want. Hello YouTube. So as you can see by when I click that, that's really quick response time. So that's how you'd set up the app. If you have multiple phones and you want to have the uh, Imperial Home app controlling um, multiple phones, what you need to do is you need to go to Apps, you need to select the Imperial Home app, and then you need to create another device. So you need to have one device uh, per phone. Keep in mind that every device you create does use more of your Vera memory, so if you don't need it, don't create it. So now I have my additional device created here for me, so I could just go through the setup just like I did for my first device.